I'm Carly and I run a business called Love Like Salt in Portland, Oregon. I do food photography, food styling, and graphic design for small food businesses. We're going to talk about salads. Salads. Um, because it's spring, summer, you know, if you run a blog or if you're doing advertising, salads are going to be part of what you are going to be shooting. Um, this is sort of a tutorial, but it's not really a tutorial. What this is more like is a show and tell because I don't think I know the answers to everything. And I think everybody has their own way of working. And there's a lot of things out there about the crazy secrets of the food styling industry. And really there's no crazy secrets. There's just techniques, there's tricks, there's ways of working and everybody has their own personal style. My first favorite food photographer is a woman named Penny De Los Santos, and she did an amazing TED Talk. And she said something that has stuck with me for the last five years. And all she said was, it is what it is. Your job is to appreciate what it is. And that is has carried me through so many shoots of different foods and difficult foods and foods that maybe aren't beautiful or Instagrammable, but you still need to shoot them and show them in a really perfect light. Um, salads are a really great way to practice this because you get to completely cut out all of the cooking. All of it, no cooking. So when you cook, there's a whole range of different, um, different techniques that you have to think about. You have to think about how all the food goes together, how long you're gonna cook it for. Um, at any point in time in that process, something could get destroyed. So salads are like a really nice way to practice your staging and your composition and your attention to color and your attention to the story without the technical aspect of cooking. Plus, I hate cooking, like a lot. I really hate cooking. That's okay. Um, the other thing about salads is that everything is like, really pretty, right? Like lettuce is gorgeous and it's basically flower arranging on a plate is what you're doing. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that I approach a salad project. So I've already started selecting a few props for my salad. I decided I want this salad to be shot really light, really bright. I have a white background that I haven't used yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through some of these things about why I would choose them and why I wouldn't. Uh, my first selection is right here. We've got this bowl. I love this bowl. I love the color. I love the texture. It's really a lovely thing, but I'm not gonna use it for this shoot because I feel like the green it's just a, maybe a little too close. These colors just feel a little too close together to me. And also when I put the salad in a tall bowl, I lose all of the beautiful lacy edges of the leaves that I want to capture. This kind of thing would work great for if I had like a salad bowl with all these different bright ingredients laid on on top and you don't see the lettuce. But for what this kind of salad I'm going to be shooting today, I think that this bowl would be a bad choice. So I'll put that over there. And we're going to go to uh, bad select number two. I love this plate. I bought it and now I'm like, what in the world am I ever going to use it for? Uh, which happens, so I'll just keep it. But this is this looks like a salad party. There's just too much going on, which, you know, maybe this could work in some circumstances, but it's not really like a style that people are really into right now. So I'm going to say no. This sort of plant would be great if I just had like, I don't know, something that's very simple, like a cupcake, maybe some white frosting, and just put like a little cherry on top. It'd be really cute. Or I could put like a saucer on it and put some food on the saucer, so this is sort of like a, a decorative element in the background, but not where we're gonna see nice here. Um, so this is our Goldilocks option. It's nice and small, it's simple, it's got a little decorative border, which I think gives it some personality. I like that it's red, and if you like red and greens, you grab a lettuce, 
go together. It's kind of like Christmas colors, but I think it helps bring out the green, and the green brings out the red. That's why they kind of they're complementary colors. Um, I like to work with small plates because they're just easier to fill to give a feeling of bounty. If you have a huge plate, that's just a whole lot more styling you have to do. So when given a choice, I go with small plates. And it's amazing how when you shoot these, you don't they don't seem small. Even if you have a fork next to them, for just some reason, the human brain does not see this as being a tiny little plate um, in most circumstances. So... This is the plate that we're going to use for this one dish that we're making, which is just going to be really simple. We've got lettuce and grapefruit slices and roasted beets and almonds and cheese. I don't even know if it's a real salad anybody would eat, but it seems all those ingredients seem to make sense. So we're going to break for just a second and I'm going to start setting this up so we could start styling our salad. All right, so I have my plate. And I've got this huge bowl of lettuce. A lot of it's really welted. It doesn't look super great, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to panic. There's no panicking here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start going through it. And I'm going to start pulling out the, dish, the, um, the leaves that have the most interest. I don't really look for perfection. I look for exciting colors or textures. And at least I want to make sure that it doesn't look old or gross. Um, because nobody likes an old and gross salad. After I get a few selections of things that look pretty nice, what I do is I set up my border first, just like doing a puzzle. And I kind of vary the lettuces, so that way I have some like dark ones and some light ones, um, just depending on what I'm using. Um, there's like a little thing of, I wonder if that works. I kind of like that. Um, just like a piece of parsley. People's eyes go towards this outer rim. Um, this is where this color, you know, this dark color meets this bright color. And that's kind of where your eye naturally sees all the shapes of your lettuce. So I put the best lettuces I could find around the edge of the rim. So I'm gonna do that and you can watch it probably in high speed because it's gonna be a little bit boring. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I see lots of cool shapes happening on the outside. And now what I could do is I could kind of just fill this in full of anything that doesn't look terrible. In the middle, you don't need to worry about so much because people don't really look at the middle of the plate as much as they do on the edge. So we're gonna get, plus it's gonna be covered with stuff. So here we go. We have um, the lettuce placed on the plate in a way that I really like it. Notice that this is probably less than any person would ever eat in real life. You probably want a bigger salad, <laughs> but it's okay. The, we didn't, and also notice that we did not, um, we didn't dress the, the lettuce at all. I don't think I've ever put dressing on a lettuce leaf because once you do, they get wilted. They lay flat, um, and you can't really, they just lose a certain, a certain freshness if you put uh, the dressing on it. So what I did actually, what I did was I made just like a simple balsamic vinaigrette in a squeeze bottle. So I can actually squeeze the dressing on the leaves where I want it. A lot of times I don't even put a dressing on. Um, that's kind of a decision that you have to make is how you're gonna deal with your dressings. You want people to see it. If it's an important part of your, sorry, I just realized there's something here I don't like. I don't like how you can see this one whole leaf. Let me fix that. It's gonna drive me crazy. There we go. That looks better, I think. Um, anyway, what, what you have to decide when you're um, shooting for your blog is if you have a dressing, how you're gonna display that dressing that's not on the leaves, because if you dump it on your leaves, it's gonna make your salad look sad. You can drop it on so it's like a little bit on the plate, which we'll probably do today. You can put it in a little glass container and have it off to the side. Um, just some ways so that way you're visually separating the dressing from the salad, because this is already a pretty busy surface area. Your eyes can't see everything that's on here. You have to kind of pull some elements out and separate them for your viewer. So the next step we're going to do is I'm going to move this stuff over here. 
Okay, Zach. We're gonna start to add our things. I need a beer, really, really bad. Me, I grab one. We're grabbing the beer, making sure that's in frame. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm back. So, my next set of decisions are gonna be based on whether, what this shoot is gonna be for. If there is a chance that this dish is gonna get cropped in any way, if it's gonna be cropped in half, or if it's gonna turn into a banner ad, I have to do my placement of the ingredients in a different way than if I'm just shooting the whole dish. Also, if I shoot from top down, I'm gonna be placing the ingredients in a different way than if I'm only doing it from the side. So if I'm doing something that's going to be cropped, I will visually kind of divide it into fours and make sure that I have little bits of every ingredient in every quadrant. So that way if it gets cut in half, you could see all the ingredients on one side. You could basically just chop up the, the dish in any way that you want to do it and still see all the ingredients. It won't be like all the beets were on this side. So then when you cut it here, all you get is cheese, right? I don't know. If you're just shooting it for, and you have control over your image and you know it's not gonna be cropped, feel free to put your, uh, your uh, embellishments anywhere. We'll just call them embellishments because they're kind of, they're ingredients, but we'll call them embellishments. Feel free to put them however feels good to you. Um, so, which I think is what I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna worry about making sure they're everywhere, but I'll try to make sure they're balanced throughout the plate. So in order to make it look a little bit more natural, I'm gonna start placing things like these beads and sort of tucking them in and out as though they just naturally fell onto the plate, even though we know it's a lie. I also will always make sure there's at least one thing that touches the rim. And you notice here I put three together. Um, three is a really natural, um, what is it? It's like a style thing. You try to put things in groups of three. They just feel really good to your eyes. But then I might put another one over here. So I have this clump of three, and then I have one over here. The next step, I'm gonna take, sorry, that's kind of a mess, is I'm gonna do the same thing with these beautiful grapefruits. Um, this is already starting to get a little bit busy, but there we go. It's also kind of nice to have this like little line. You know, after a while it starts to feel like music to me. I'm like, this is like a little song. It kind of goes through, you know, whatever. I'm a little cheesy in that way. Um, I have a little blank area right here. You know, like balancing your, your accoutrements onto your Dish, it's, it just takes a lot of practice and after a while your muscle memory will start to sort of naturally do it quickly. When I first started shooting, um, I would sp move things around for like 40 minutes and now I just sort of like place it and kind of look at it and be like, you know, that looks good to me. It looks balanced. Even if there's like a few areas where they're not totally full. Uh, the next step is I think I'm gonna do these almonds. These almonds are kind of pretty. And even in my salad, I might want to have like a ton of almonds on it, but we just want to provide like the hint of almonds. Like they're here, but they're not going to take over the dish. Like we have so many beautiful colors and we don't really just want to cover them with almonds. And I think that's looking really good. This is way better than I thought it would look. And then the cheese is the same thing. Uh, this cheese is just cheap Trader Joe's cheese. Like, don't use good cheese in your food shoots. It's just you know, unless you really want to, but. And these ones, notice that these are kind of big chunks. Um, I like big chunks of cheese. I think they're easier to see and they don't cover up all the other ingredients. You could do shreds, but I feel like once you put shreds on, it's like s snow dust. It's really hard to style shreds. So do yourself a favor, just use big chunks of cheese. I'm sorry, I just kicked the camera. Sorry about that. I think that's looking good. I'm gonna kind of look at it from the side. I might flip it. So I think with this one, I do want to do like a little 320, you know, 45 degree angle. So I'll kind of turn around and see if there's a side that looks a little bit more natural. And yeah, that one looks good. I can see all the different ingredients. It looks good. So next, um, we have a couple things we could do. We could leave it just like that. I don't think it needs a dressing on it. This looks like a salad, it reads like a salad, but I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just add a few drops of dressing, maybe like 
right there. But see how I'm just letting it kind of pool on the on the um, lettuces without it actually. Oh, I don't know if I like this. No, I do. I'm gonna like it. It's gonna be fine. Put some on the plate. Maybe pull a little bit around there. Yeah, it's showing up on these beets. I'll show a couple more on these beets. But now, you know, now I can actually see the dressing, but it's not weighing down all of my leaves. And the last little thing I like to do is, I think like really big lock salt makes everything just look like you got it from like a gourmet meal. This is way too much salt. <laughs> like you wouldn't eat this. But, and also a little bit of fresh pepper. It just adds like a layer of, oh, sometimes I have to have it on the rim too. That's it, like your rim is part of your food styling and the rim is just, yeah, use the rim, pay attention to it, wipe it if it looks too messy, have it be messy when you want it to be messy. And then this looks like a really nice salad like I just threw together, which I guess I kind of did, but um, by using all these different little tricks, it looks fresh and happy and it's all ready to shoot. So here it is. I have my beautiful salad. I'm going to take it down to my basement studio, grab a few shots, and we'll see how it looks.